Hey, AD, it's Tommy and Dee. Welcome to Palm Beach. Come on in. This is our outdoor courtyard, and I absolutely fell in love with the house when I walked in and I saw this courtyard, all the coral stone and the beautiful arches. And as you can see, we have an outdoor fireplace. We decorated out here with a lot of blue and white. Blue is my favorite color. And mine too. And also Tommy's. And our decorator and friend, Martin Lawrence Boulard, also likes blue. So we loved these pops of blue accents outdoors with all the green. And a lot of the foliage was already here, thankfully. So we really did not have to add anything. It, it needed some TLC. It needed to be cared for. We gave it some love. And now with the weather and a little bit of a few showers here and there, it blossoms. That's one of the things that really drew me to this house was all the indoor outdoor spaces. And we do spend a lot of time outdoors. I like living on the water. We have a dock, we have jet skis. It's a whole different type of lifestyle, especially coming from New York in the Northeast. We're in the living room designed by Martin Lawrence Boulard, who created objects like the table, his fabrics, all the coral stone in this fireplace was all part of the house. We thought it was just so beautiful. One of the fun pieces that we brought from another house was this piece above the fireplace. And I would say that is my daily affirmation every morning. The pecky cypress on the ceiling was original to the home, but we decided to lighten it up to just to give the house a fresher, more modern feeling. It was pretty dark and heavy. So we wanted to lighten it with the walls. It still has a bohemian vibe, but it's modern and clean. The light fixtures are actually like pieces of art. Tommy and I have loved collecting art for a very long time. So these light fixtures were not here when we moved in. They are Giacometti and part of our love and adoration for art in the 21st century. This area right here serves us as our, sometimes it's our family office, sometimes it's our cocktail area. I, I'd say it's all purpose. We've- It's pretty cozy. It's we pretty cozy We like the coziness here. of it, but I like sitting here looking out at the water. This table, it is black lacquer with faux ivory inlay. And it is a piece that was inspired by a Spanish castle, I believe. It's a modern classic again, but it has a bit of a deco vibe. If you look at the feet, we love the fact that it's modern and classic. I really love this room. It has a very sort of Moroccan vibe. We have these beautiful Syrian tables here and all these fabrics. I love the mix of the fabrics and the colors. These were all fabrics from Martin Lawrence Boulard. I find this room just warm and welcoming and I feel like today comfort is true luxury. We feel very, very blessed and lucky to be able to enjoy such a gorgeous spot. But I love the touches of khaki and olive green piping. It's a little safari-esque in my mind. And I love the French rope work on the stools. But again, it's the mix of Syrian, Moroccan, French. It really is a mix of modern and classic, modern vintage. I would say inspiration from different parts of the world. And we are detail obsessed. So we're continually looking at ways to improve our homes through detail. This is the dining room. And what is really beautiful, I think, is that we have open space between our dining room and living areas separated by these beautiful coral stone columns. And again, we did it light, modern, simple, with a few collected pieces. I like the touches of bamboo also, because it reminds me of being in the tropics and being able to live the indoor outdoor lifestyle with a lot of plants. The chairs are vintage 1940. The wood on the chairs and the table is bleached French oak. Again, light and bright. Again, I'd say that this is used uh, duly as a, a dining room Sometimes, and an office. This is our dining slash conference room. <laughs> so if we have meetings, we actually sit here.
this is our foyer, which is really the link between all the rooms in the house. We have the outdoors here to the left. We have the dining room to our right, our living room, and everyone has to cross here at some point. I love that it's open and airy and these beautiful coral stone columns are such a gorgeous detail. We had all these light fixtures that were custom made for us in Spain. And if you follow through here, you can see that the stone leads upstairs to the landing where we have those beautiful arch windows. And it was quite dark, as Tommy said before, when we bought it. And it was quite, I would say, over furnished. And when we took out all of that and painted everything light colored, I feel like all those beautiful details of the home actually came out more. Living with the stone, is uh, for me very traditional because it's very Mediterranean, but I'm obsessed with the columns and the detail. So this is a gallery or hallway leading to other bedrooms, also leading to the outdoor courtyard. And this collection of photographs was originally in the dining bar room of the Raleigh Hotel in Miami, which we owned for a while. All there's some sorts good ones. of different characters. Yeah, there's some really good ones. It's fun. <laughs> From Andy Warhol to Jackie Kennedy to Karl Lagerfeld, a lot of very, I would Clark say, Gable? I iconic photographs. This is our indoor family room. There are TVs behind the wooden cabinets over there. It's, I love this room. It's a really cozy, warm, inviting room, and I love all the books. And uh, we've been known to watch a few football games in here. This is our kitchen, which we decided to paint white. Previously, this kitchen was all dark wood. Very dark wood, like a dark cherry wood. It was dark brown. Dark brown. And the countertops were butterscotch. We decided to make everything light and clean. We pulled up the countertops and replaced the marble. But other than that, we really did not do that much in this kitchen. It's incredible what one can do with a can of white paint. And we changed the fixtures because they were like a bronzy gold and we thought nickel would be much more appealing and much more modern. Just white paint and new fixtures. And some tweaks. Little tweaks. This is a great space because this is super convenient because the grill is just out here around the corner. So it's literally backed up against a kitchen. So you barely have to even move to go grill. And we use it a lot. So we moved from the kitchen into sort of the sitting eating area. And I love that these arches sort of separate the area, but again, we're separated but open. And blue and white, we love blue and white. And so- We like blue and white too. And we have this little bar area, which is kind of convenient for when my son is eating cereal in the morning or just to hang out. And I absolutely love this room. It's so cozy. Again, fireplaces. I love my fireplaces. We like the, the mix of bamboo with the wicker, with the ceruzed wood. When we have a family meal, either lunches or I would say casual dinners, we eat here and uh, use the Lazy Susan. So we have many outdoor spaces in this home and many outdoor terraces. This is our upstairs terrace. And this is probably one of my favorites because again, we have this gorgeous fireplace, which I love to put it on in the evening. And we sometimes lie out here on this day bed and have cocktails or just relax. It's right off my principal bath. And I love the Spanish tiles on the floor. And I love the quadrifoils that are along the banister here. It also has just a stunning view out here. And at nighttime, the sun sets right over there. And when the lights come on, it's just really, really stunning. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you in my absolute favorite, favorite part of the house. This is what I call our outdoor family room. 
and we spend most of our time out here. When we can sit out here, look at the water, have a cocktail, have friends over, and basically dream about being on vacation because <laughs> it seems like we're on vacation when we're out here. At night, the buildings twinkle. The sunset is right here every night at 5.30, 6 o'clock, but it's comfortable and relaxing. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. My son and I took the jet skis up about a mile from here and we saw manatees and they have like a, a migration of manatees. And fortunately, uh, there are police boats around slowing other boats and jet skis. Actually, I do think that there are a lot more things in that water besides oh, we see the manatees. We see things jumping out of the water all the time. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot more than the manatees. I think there's some more nefarious yeah. creatures. And sometimes we see a fin. <laughs> Actually, we this is what the original ceilings looked like throughout the home. They were this color. And we thought outdoors this would be good to leave the way it was. Yeah. This is our really best place to have a, a cocktail at around five o'clock and enjoy, <laughs> sometimes 4.30, and uh, enjoy the, the sunset. This is our pool area. This was all grass all the way around. So we decided to put the coral stone down to give ourselves sort of a, a walkway and a patio. All the outdoor lighting was here and they're all Spanish inspired and which I think works perfectly with the home because the home is a very Spanish style sort Mediterranean. And so we were lucky that we did not have to go find these. I, I actually really love all of the outdoor light fixtures and it's really like a beautiful, magical, romantic setting. Have Play you swam in this pool yet? I haven't. <laughs> But our son, I swam our in it one time. Our, I, our son swims in it just about every day. Yeah. I think you need to get in. Uh, I like to uh, <laughs> be on top of the water. Jet skiing or boating. <laughs> hey, AD. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, but we've got to go right now. Want to go paddleboarding? Let's do it. We're going paddleboarding. Thank you.